Hey guys, we're gonna talk about me and Carlos right now. He came back from from Mexico finally, and uh, we're gonna talk about the first day we met each other. And I mean, I gotta tell you, it was it was pretty special. I mean, other people are happy that they met their soulmates or they met a celebrity, but honestly, I'm really happy that I met Carlos. I don't see you smiling. <laughs> Get closer, they can't hear you, dude. I don't see you smiling. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, no, I'm kind of regretting it. Now I'm joking, but, <laughs> no, but, but it was it was great. Um, I met him in high school. Well, actually, I saw him at high school. No, scratch that, even scratch that. All right, here, here's how it started. Carlos, it was it was ninth grade. Ninth grade is is basically freshman year. If you don't understand, then I'm sorry, but it's basically the beginning of high school. There's freshmen, sophomore, junior, freshman, <laughs> senior, <clears throat> and well, we were in freshman year, and it was the first day, right? The first day of school, and then, but well, before school started, um, my next door neighbor was has has left. Like he moved houses. I don't know why, but he just moved. And then, out of nowhere, one day, I walked outside and I saw like a moving truck and stuff like that. And there was a new family coming. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I was trying to see if there was like any, like a, a maybe like a cool neighbor or something. But I just saw this elegant, tall man and this pretty, like elegant woman, which turns out to be Carlos's sister and 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 uh, Carlos's uh, what's it called? What? Suegro? No wait, that's not it. That's not the word. What is it? Uh, wait, what? What are you trying to say? Your what's up, Doug? To you? Brother-in-law. Yeah, his brother-in-law. There you go. Sorry about that. But Carlos was Carlos's brother-in-law. They 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 make a great couple. By the way, shout out to them. <laughs> Anyways, um, what? Oh, you lost? Yeah. Oh. Oh well. Anyways, I saw them coming out of like a car, and I was like, oh, cool. They look pretty cool. And they had these like two daughters. They they look pretty cool. I mean, yeah, they look pretty cool. But then, out of nowhere, I uh, saw this. Come on, don't, don't say it like that. Hold on. You're making this all like a scary story, dude. It's not a scary story. But then I saw like uh, a lady also, and it turns out it was Carlos' mom. She's she's really really nice. She's a really nice uh, mom, a great person. And uh, well, after all that, I saw this person with really really long hair. And then I was like, all right, I, I guess it's another girl because the the nieces of Carlos. They were, um, what's it called? Er, they're girls. Little girls. So I'm like, oh, I guess that's their, one of them, their daughters. But then, like, I only saw the backside. I'm like, damn. She has a nice ass. But then, like, they're walking. Just walking straight to the, like, to the door. And then, uh, Carlos's, uh, what's it called? Brother-in-law. He said, he yelled out. Carlos, and then I'm like, gay? Is is that a guy? And Carlos turned around, which I didn't know who it, he was at the time. Turned around, and it was a guy. It was Carlos. I'm like, whoa. And I didn't know whether to say hi. I didn't know because Carlos looks older than he's supposed to. And well, I was just like, okay, I guess he doesn't think I'm gonna be cool because I was just a uh, really chubby ninth grader that looked like the old guy from Up. So I was just like, nah, I won't talk to him. He might be like 12th in 12th grade or something. So that was that. The next day, which was the day of the, the school starts, I was like um, in my advisory class, which it tells you which classes you're gonna have. And it's by last name. And well, I was in the section where there's um, 
what's it called? Freshman? And Carlos in there. I'm like, what the? He's a freshman? Carlos? Freshman? So he was he was in the set in the what's it called in the freshman section and I was like wow because we had a, a, a like a giant assembly I forgot to mention so all the freshmen would sit in the uh, bleachers in these giant bleachers and when Carlos was there I'm like oh cool so when the assembly was over um, Carlos was walking out and I'm like oh I gotta say hi to him because he's my next door neighbor uh, it's gonna get awkward if I don't say hi to him soon so I just come up to him from the back and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm your neighbor. You know what he did? I know. Can you can you can you tell that part, Carlos? No. He does it he doesn't want to say it. I remember. He just turns around and just he looked angry. He just he just he just didn't want to say hi to me. He just like oh. and he just turned around and just oh cool. Hi. But back then Carlos had really broken English not to not not in a bad way cuz I mean he lived in Mexico for most of his life and I mean you don't blame you can't blame him dude plus English English is a really tough language I have trouble speaking it sometimes and there. Spanish I, I don't have a language that I'm perfect at but um, yeah Carlos just said oh shit nice and he just walked away and I was like damn that's it He's not gonna say his name, He's, even though I knew his name, but he didn't know my name or anything. So I just ran back to him, and I'm like, "Dude." And we made out. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't end the story like that. No, but I'm um. Sorry. <laughs> well, anyways, we just I just went back to him and I'm like, "Hey, what's up? I'm your next door neighbor." Cause I, I don't know, maybe he thought it was a prank, and it was gonna go, go sexual or something. I don't know, but he just realized that I was his neighbor. And then that's how we started hanging out. We I started giving him the four one ones of the area where I live, where we where we live, and yeah, everything went great. We hanged out most of the days, and from time to time we built up our friendship. And then now that it that it's um we're in college, we thought about making Carloska, and we'll look at us now. You're listening to this video right now, and it's turning out pretty good. And wow, there's a guy with nine wins, Carlos. You haven't said anything during this video, dude. Dude, I'll, I'll let you talk, man. I'll let you tell the story, man. I don't, I don't know how to respond to your story. I mean, uh, you don't know how to respond to my story. No. You were there, dude. What are you doing that for? It's because it, it, it doesn't sound that loud when you talk. So I have to put the microphone much closer to your ass. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how we met. Um, since then, we've been friends. Um, <clears throat> there was times when Carlos has been mad at me. And then, obviously, I've never been mad at Carlos because I'm a nice friend. But you have my bean yeah, yeah. Alright, Carlos is leveling up right now. <laughs> but um I'm in the middle of the game. Oh I'm sorry. Why well, you're doing pretty good dude? I'm not. Oh wait, that's the other guy. Dude, come on, that guy's always chilling man, you can beat him. Oh nice, do the special. I mean the EX. You got this dude, stun him. Nice. Reload your arm, reload uh That would have been cool though. Cool. We're almost gonna end this video just after Carlos beats him because he always wins. He's gonna ruin that guy's ninth win, dude. Nine win streak. But I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna leave the game. I guarantee you. If he does, dude. Come on, Carlos. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh! That's a good way to end it, dude. That's a good way to end it. See? That's the ending of the video of how our friendship is perfect. When he, whenever he wants it to be. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to destroy that subscribe button. Yeah, you do that. Yeah.
and thanks for watching.